Selenium for Beginners with Rex Jones II. The next AUT is GitHub. Let's inspect the notes below username. Here is a special case where XPath or CSS selector is our only option and a perfect example to show you why we should not use Chrome DevTools to copy XPath. Copying an XPath value works sometimes, but it is not reliable. Therefore, it is best not to right click, copy, copy XPath, then paste XPath. Notice the ID value. Now I am going to reload the page. Copy XPath again. Then paste XPath. Do you see how the value changed after reloading the page? That is called a dynamic ID value where the value changes every time. This video will show you how to handle dynamic values using XPath functions. There are four types of XPath functions. On Oracle sites, we see node set, string, boolean, and a number. Our focus will be the string function. In our cheat sheet, I call them partial pattern match because all we need to do is match parts of the attributes value. I was going to demo three functions, but I will remove ends with, then demo starts with and contains. Back to our AUT for the starts with function. We write two forward slashes, tag name is P, opening and closing brackets, starts with, opening and closing parenthesis, at symbol, the attribute name is ID, comma, two single quotes, then write what the value starts with. The value starts with description. So let's write description. We can also replace starts with and use the next function contains. Both functions will work because the value starts with description and also contains description. Go back to AUT, remove starts with, then add contains. Did you notice that we have found one of two? One of two is not good enough if we are looking to only verify the notes below username. Both elements almost look the same. How do we find one of one when both elements have P as the tag name, class attribute with the value of notes, and a dynamic ID value? One note refers to the username and the other note refers to email address. We can use a word or we can use a phrase from the note. Inside the brackets, we write and contains. Two parentheses, we write dot, comma. Two single quotes. Within the quotes, we can write the complete phrase or we can write the word. The phrase can be, this will be your username. Now we have one of one. However, I prefer to use a unique word like username. And we still have one of one. This query is asking us to find a P tag and ID attribute consisting of a description value and contains text username. 
we can also replace the dot with the text function. However, there are cases where a text will not work. I will create a video explaining the difference between using an XPath value using a dot and using text. TEXT two parentheses. We still see one of one. If you choose not to write the word and, you can replace it with the square brackets. Let's go to tools QA and continue with a different syntax for the text function. Inspect first name. We see a strong tag name, but don't see any attributes. Write two forward slashes, strong, both brackets, text, two parentheses, equal, two single quotes, first name, colon, and bingo, we found our element. That's it for XPath functions. You can download the cheat sheet and the transcript from GitHub at Rex Jones the second forward slash selenium for beginners and tinyurl.com forward slash selenium locators for web elements. Next is XPath Axes. Online courses coming soon. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All part one ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.